All right, let's keep the party going. You smell that? Surprise! There's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Dude, I don't remember this being so um, cheery before. Yeah, I remember in the other run, I remember this being a lot less cheery. They totally want you to... Um, they totally want you to not kill any monsters. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Look at you just patting on the... <laughs> Something burning? Um, make yourself at home. I am... I definitely do not recall this much love in the game. Tutorial's diary. Read the circle passage? Yes. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. Ah, uh, yes. The humor. Wasn't a fan the first time. Encyclopedia of subterranean plants, you open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. No more Conley's water sausages. Yeah, alright. Peek inside. Scandalous. Tutorial sock drawer. Oh, yeah. Funny. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most sundere of plants. Ugh. Just a regular old bucket of snails. Tutorial small chair. Its name is Cherial. Yeah, I never was into the jokes, but inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. It's you. Oh, it is a water sausage. Now see, seeing that and remembering what it told me at the end of the last run. Yeah, it, the, the game was totally guilt tripping us. History book. Here's a random page. Crab behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks. We retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named. Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. Hello there, little one. The pie has not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap. Uh, not yet. You'd rather stay up and chat with me, then? Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for, edu for your education. Oh my goodness. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps this isn't very surprising. Still, <laughs> I didn't notice her face. I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Uh, nothing. Well, talk to me again if you need anything. Alright. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. Stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Alright. I think you should play upstairs instead. Alright, let me go to the room. I mean, we've already done all this, so... You're caring too much. Uh-oh. Let's yeah, I'll drop one of the candies. Monster candy was thrown away. On a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie.
An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kid shoes in a disparity of sizes. Ah, oh, that's a nice touch. I, I, I don't remember that. Look at these cool toys. Don't, they don't interest you at all. No, they don't. Alright. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Um, sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. Alright, how do I get home? I have to do something. Stay here. Ah, uh, I forgot to go and, like, continue to, like, fake exit. That's okay, though. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will be able... Well, no one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Talk about being overprotective, though. That was my problem with her from the get-go, man. She's just way too overprotective. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come... They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Wait. Why are you looking at me like that? Like you've seen a ghost. Oh! Because you... You and me fought already once before. Do you know something I do not? Yes, I do. No, that is impossible. But I forgot to equip the damn knife. Tutorial blocks the way. Alright, so we alright, so I have no idea if we can spare her. I assume that we can. So I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to spare her, but I have no idea how. Fuck, you thought about telling Toriel that you saw her die. But that's creepy. Can you show mercy without fighting or running away? And I show mercy without fighting or running away. Toriel looks through you. Can you show mercy without running away? Okay, so is that telling me I can fight? Can you show mercy without running away? I don't know, can I? Prepares a magical attack. Yeah, she's clearly Asgore's um, wife. Like I, 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 again, I have no idea, and it wasn't explicit in the last run, but it seems obvious to me with their attacks. Toriel's acting aloof. Can you show mercy without running away? Acting aloof. Alright, so this isn't working. I mean, do I gotta attack her? Shit. I may have to. But I'm pretty sure you're not... You, they, I'm pretty sure it doesn't want you to attack her either. Well, 
Well, but then again, the hint was originally not running away or fighting. So maybe I do have to attack her. Toriel takes a deep breath. Maybe not. She is changing her mind. Can you show mercy without running away? She looks through you. Alright, my thought here is that if if I end up dying, then I'm going to have to like spare her I'm gonna have to hit her. You know, we'll have to run it again and then I'm gonna have to hit her without like um you know, I'm gonna have to take her health down and then try to spare her. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be working. Ooh. Because I'm out of health. Show mercy without running away. I'm trying. Or is that a question? Is it telling me to show? Is it... a deep breath. Alright, let's remove the bandage. She looks through you. I don't know. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to attack her, man. it is not giving me a chance to, to spare her at all. Hmm? Uh-oh. Can you show mercy without running away? Wait a minute. Okay, so now it's not willing to talk. I mean, it's not, they're trying, it won't hit me. What the hell? Okay, I think it's time to just spare. Yeah. Because look, she won't, she won't kill me. She won't kill me. What are you doing? Huh. So maybe that's how it works. Attack or run away. But it won't tell me to do that. What are you proving this way? Huh. Seems to be working though. Fight me or leave. Alright, let's try one more time. Stop it. I refuse to stop. Stop looking at me that way. No. I refuse. 
Go away. Okay, I think we reset it. So maybe we do just need to run. Let's try one more time. Yeah, it's it's just re So she's got a sad look on her face though. She can't kill me. I know you want to go home, but Can you show mercy without running away? But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. <laughs> Look at her smile. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Because you made it so difficult in the last one. Please, go upstairs. Ha ha. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh, <laughs> this makes me feel really bad. Goodbye, my child. Let's go say, let's go say goodbye. Yeah, that's definitely interesting. Oh, she's gone. Where'd she go? Besides, probably intimidated you too much to, to, for you to eat it. Fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You can put your hand inside. Is she gone? I think so. Alright, so it's time for us to leave then. Free, please. Wake up. You're the future of humans and monsters. Oh, I didn't expect that. All right, she's not there. Not here either. All right. So. Let's go. Okay, so we were able to spare her, and it looks like this game made us continue, like it made it really made us work for it. Yeah, see, without Flowey there, though, it kind of, like, is a different experience because if he was there, I would imagine we would have conf he would have confronted us anyway, right? So, kind of have to replay this again, knowing that he's there. At least I think.
I guess hmm? there's a camera hidden in the bushes. Maybe I shouldn't have killed him in that last run, man. Because he's gone. Human. I don't remember shaking his hand either. Eh, the old be cushion in the hand trick. Yeah, maybe not. Wait a sec. Have you heard it before or something? You turned around before I said to. Weird. Whatever. You're a human, right? I'm San. San Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, hide behind that conveniently shaped lamp. What's up, bro? You know what's... You know what's up, brother? What What the hell? It's been eight days and you ha still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp? It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then, I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition, I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend? I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm? Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. I don't think boondoggle is supposed to be used that way. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Ah, oh, God, the humor. I, I really don't like the humor in this game. Sans, come on. You're smiling. I am, and I hate it. For the record, I am not smiling. Sai, so why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition. Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Jeez. I hate reading it. Uh, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Yeah, <laughs> jeez. Heh. Okay, you can come out now. This is my least favorite part of the game. This entire, like, um, the whole, like, path to Snowden thing. You ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. What's the hold up? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. Here's a conveniently shaped lamp. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. There are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. 
Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. <laughs> 